two, check, one, two, three. Hey, one, two, one, two. Good. of Wild Buffalo, House of Music. My name is Oscar. I'm here on behalf of Acorn Project. I play keyboards with those guys. I mean, the first year we did it, it was one day, six bands. We realized it was too many bands for one day. It was like a rainy night, really cold. A few people came out. We may have had a hundred people come through the thing. In the second year, we expanded to two bars, but they were across town, so that didn't work out as well. Last year, we quadrupled the numbers and really forecasted to just blow it out this year. So when Acorn does this, since they've moved it over here, we've enjoyed it very much. Over the past two years, we've kind of figured out all the odds and ends and gotten uh, gotten everything locked in, and I think this year will be the best one yet. So I just like being able to go inside, outside, back and forth, and have always something good going on. It's, it just makes for a fun, fun party atmosphere, which I'm okay with. What sets this event apart is uh, just the fact that it brings the community together in a way, like uh, we got free music all afternoon, good times, you know, anyone can come down and enjoy. Um, it's just, you know, it's all community based and that's, that was the guy's plan behind it and it's they pulled it off pretty well every year. What sets it apart from other music festivals, uh, you know, around the area, around town, um, is for one, the community, the, the people here in Bellingham are just awesome. Uh, everyone's smiling, especially when it's sunny out, and um, it, it's just great to see people uh, really listen. And well, the positive impact uh, on the community is the exchange of ideas and the understanding that it's okay to be yourself. In some ways, it's like a platform for a local structure, you know? Like, if you take an agrarian structure and you talk about local and sustainable, it's kind of the same thing when considering music. So you have different companies that are pretty much entrepreneurs coming together. Groove Merchant, uh, Northern Gardening, The Buffalo, all the great bands. And they're all able to utilize their skills. And um, that's a bit different because on campus, you know, you're, you're always going for, for the popular acts, which is great for the students. But down here, it's more about the music and reaching the people. I play drums. Uh, tonight I'm going to be playing with Polecat. Uh, tomorrow I'll be playing with another group of mine, Mommy. And uh, this is my third year doing the Urban Music Festival. I'm stoked for the song and music. Carl started up uh, Umami and we're, we're a band, uh, eight piece maybe at maximum, and we're, we're just here to you know promote our music and promote the local Bellingham music scene uh, and just uh, support our community with great music. Everybody was dancing and getting sweaty. There was beer flowing. And it's good because it's really a controlled scene. What I like about the Urban Music Festival is that it does give a chance for the community to come out in full force and you know, it gives businesses exposure. They open up on a weekend and they like it. It helps the community come together. I mean, we're all young. We need to be flocking the same direction sometimes. You know? Music, for one, is you know the ultimate universal language. People really understand it. People who who have listened to different types of music uh, early on have um, like they they just walk down the street and they they can hear any type of music and they'll they'll always be involved. It's been going on for a long time. The Urban Music Festival, which is great because it gives you a chance to go away, come back, go away, come back, and see the bands playing. People are walking around exploring the alleys and the dark corners of them. With a sunny day like this, everybody's uh, dressing down. And, you know, you know, that's what Bellingham is about. You can see a lot more bands getting involved. It's, it's growing. There's more people 
coming, better promotion. Well, it has grown over the years. I mean, I've, I've only been here 11 years myself, but I've seen Urban Music Festival, you know, take off. And uh, each year it's been a little more successful. It's dead week at the college, but that doesn't seem to dampen the spirit. My name's Kaylee Schmidt. I'm a member of Polkat. I'm playing at Urban Music Festival for 2011. Playing at Urban Music Festival is one of our favorite shows because it's such a community-oriented event. Um, people are in the farmer's market when they hear music wafting from the wild buffalo alley and they wander over and people are eating dinner all around and they want to be, they want to come here. Oh, the challenges for something like this are pretty, pretty straightforward. Oh, challenges. There are so many challenges. Logistics can be an issue at times. Mainly, it's just about construction, deconstruction, and maintaining, maintaining everything in between. The party really takes care of itself. There's some of the best people that I've ever met let alone in Bellingham that comes specifically to this festival. One is just the organization of the bands, one's getting permits, I mean, these guys go through multiple different hoops and jump through loops and try to appease everybody and each band member as much as they possibly can to make their, you know, festival enjoyable and make this whole scene possible. There's so much organization going on and I give props to Sam and Acorn Project for putting this on. Well, just the logistics, and you look around, you'll, you'll, you'll see through your filming that there's just so much to do having stuff going on in the alley, also in the club, and keeping it all legal, you know. We're gonna try to do this year 21 and under, which we haven't always done for Urban Fest. Figuring out sound text for two stages, um, light text for two stages. It's kind of daunting, but we have a good group of volunteers and paid staff that are just great. My name's uh, Aaron Cook. I'm here helping uh, load in, load out at the Urban Music Fest. It brings me joy, it brings everyone joy, so I don't, you know, mind helping out one bit. There's a lot of, of, of people to, to deal with but it's, it's great to see how well organized all these people are and uh, you can tell that it's very well put together events. Part of the challenge is the alley itself. Getting a good uh, audio tone in here takes a bit of work. The other is, is uh, putting a stage in a roof that's adequate for the band. Too many sound technicians out there. It's the best though. We've got to make sure that the crews although they're two separate crews, are in sync with each other so we can keep rolling. It may have taken seven years to get to this point that it is, but uh, it's now running very smoothly. Bellingham is built on a sustainable mode of living, and that means that we take all comers. I think this is absolutely a sustainable event. I think this event is more than sustainable. It's, it's something that can grow into something that um, can't even see its potential at this point. We're going to need to probably get a little more vendor presence to you know, draw in some more people. I think that the word's out pretty well on it, but uh, just the, the location, parking downtown, especially on a nice day on the weekend, is rough. What's that magazine is sponsoring, Northern Lights Gardening is sponsoring. They were a huge help. Thank you, Lauren. Bison Bookbinding, Letterpress, and all the printing, Gathering Glass. Uh, sponsoring a glass art auction that's taking place as well. Ideally, I could see the Urban Music Festival expanding even more, um, not necessarily in time, but in scale. It'd be great if maybe we expanded uh, other parts of downtown, just get the whole city involved. I would love to see it grow a little bit bigger. Um, if we could actually shut down a block, I think that would be really awesome to uh, get the municipality involved here in Bellingham because I think that there's a lot of uh, good performance arts and things like that we could bring to the community that everybody would really enjoy and it would be more of a family organization if we could just get it out of the alley and kind of onto the street. I think that would be really awesome. In the long run, we're going to wind up having to shut down two or three blocks of Bellingham. The amount of talent that's, that's in this area, the amount of people who've been trying to become part of this festival, there's just no way we're going to be able to contain it in a in the Bay Street Alley much longer. The community aspect of Urban Music Festival at this point is only really, you know, four hours, whereas I think we could maybe get it, get two daytime slots going for all ages and community events. These industries taking over, all these monocultures in our agricultural industry, and I can really feel this energy in Bellingham where um, this, this strength within the community Bellingham has the support for local food. People are starting to become aware of how important it is to, to eat local and organic and how doing that is, is 
is improving the soil and helping our watersheds and making food available to people who need it. And I feel like in Bellingham, we're on the verge of really breaking into this level of community support. And Bellingham has a strong enough community to fight this. You never know where the next good idea is going to come from. And I think Bellingham is a boiling pot for experimenting and the Serve sort of Music Festival is one good thing about that because uh, you see, you get to immerse yourself in um, new ideas. For instance, this, this festival might raise awareness about what's going on with our waterfront and where we should go with our water, waterfront as far as cleanup, um, as far as whether or not we want to invite the uh, SSA Marine to build a, a terminal to transport coal along our waterfront and things of that nature and people get out and they discuss these ideas when we have something like the Urban Music Festival to serve as like the backdrop. Opportunities like this, like getting people together and just to support music in the community is a really good opportunity to bring awareness to these important issues. It makes it open to anyone who's involved or wants to enjoy the community and, and get involved in uh, the music scene that's happening in Bellingham because we have an awesome music scene in Bellingham and many people you know, appreciate our music scene and it's good to spread this scene to other folks that don't get to enjoy it as much as the nightlife scene. Meeting the new people and having a good time, hanging out with the community, pretty much. I would recommend this to anybody that likes music and everybody that loves music. There's flavors of everything. There's such talented musicians here that all this town needs is one thing to, to pop and the right person to stop through on a vacation and half the musicians in this town can be signed. Glad to be a part of it. I'm glad that it's happening. I'm looking forward to next year. Hopefully we'll be back for that one. If you could uh, describe the Urban Music Festival in a few words, Limitless. Eclectic. Dancing and feeling good. Killer. Glorious. Hot. Uh, awesome music. It's amazing what you can do with an alley, add 500 people and some good music. It's amazing what happens. I feel impressed in a good way. Extremely awesome music. Just have a good time. Bringing together the community and more awesome music. It's always a good time here. Ready to party. Rage tomorrow, after parties, um, seeing the sunrise Sunday morning. It's going to be a great weekend. And I know that it's going to get bigger and better, so I'm excited to see what happens next year. At the Urban Music, music Festival, 7th annual. Keep on rocking in the free world, man.